Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to day four of the line channel. We're at 7.30 in the morning, and I just realized that the Wi-Fi's out, and I need the Wi-Fi for the phone calls, so I need to go fix that. And it looks cold outside. Like it's just been non-stop running for me today like since I started because the internet wasn't working um, and then <laughs> there was so much to do I've had to open the store I've had to do gas the calls that are coming in for like today so you get to the radio and then there was a call that somebody didn't like a run that somebody didn't put in the calendar and so I didn't know that it was happening it's been very busy and then I just went and tried to let all the animals out. Lucky went out, which was nice. Strudel was being a jerk so Max the cat wouldn't leave the house, but you know. And it is just after 11 and I think I need to like eat some chips now because I don't think I'm going to get a chance to stop for lunch anytime soon here. I want to go touch base with my skipper when he shows up to fuel up. <laughs> and then, yeah, go from there. <clears throat> I'm dying. Look how high the tide is right now. Also, can we just appreciate how beautiful of a day this became after the fog this morning? I think my running around for the day has maybe stopped. It's only two o'clock though, so I figure I still have about three hours of potential for running around. I did just finish doing the mail planes, so that's good, mail's all sorted. I have to shoot off an email now, but I think overall, maybe today we'll chill out a bit. I have resorted to data entry though because I was so bored and just with all the running around I didn't feel like I'd get into my story so data entry it is. So that is one of the three things I was asked to do while I was here and it's only day three. Oh look here comes Strudel. Hi sweetie. How's it going? Boop. <laughs> Strudel has been doing a lot of visiting today. I think she just wants some love. And also, I think now she wants to eat my tripod, but that's okay. Hi. She's, yep. Yeah, she's going for the tripod. How about no? Look at that face, though. Hey. Oh, big yawns. She's been working hard all day. No, she hasn't. Well, I did make her come down to the mail plane with me. And to help a customer fuel his boat. She's gotta, she's gotta pay for her keep. Anyways, I'm gonna go get back into petting strudel and then some data entry. I'm coming. You thief. <laughs> Go find your sister. Hey, Spook. You went inside. Hi, Lucky. How are you? I'm sorry, I'm not your mom. Hi. You 
think you're all good here, my girl? Your mommy would be so proud of you that you came out. Yeah. I just got out of the bath and let me tell you, I am the warmest I have been all day. It was at one point I checked the temperature cause I was like, I am freezing and it was only eight degrees. Like I thought it had to be like at least zero. Like it was so cold. Um, I also found out from Strudel's mom cause like Strudel just does her thing during the day. Like I try to get her to come in the cabin cause it's cold and she just, she does her thing, um, but I found out from Strudel's mom that as soon as she turned on like her propane stove to heat her place, Strudel was so close to her that she could smell burnt dog fur. <laughs> She's a weird dog, that one. There's like two times when she showed up at the cabin and, and one time she was covered in leaf sticks and moss. And I'm like, where were you? And the other time she was like soaking wet and I was like, where were you? But you know, that's Strudel and that's why we love her because she's so weird. But yeah, I haven't done a lot of vlogging today because I've actually been doing a lot of working. Like I said, I was working on data entry. Um, so much data entry. I did a stack probably like that thick and then I sorted a stack probably like that thick. So that's something I can work on tomorrow or the next day or whatnot. Uh, Strudel's mom is probably gonna be on property for most of the day tomorrow. So that'll be nice because I can venture a little bit further away from my tethered phone So I can maybe get stuff in the store done. I mean, there's a phone there too But it's easier to stay where my computer is and it's cold over in the store. So I don't want to go there It's warm in my place. Well warm ish warmer um, But yeah, so that's been my day. I don't is it day four? Yes, it is a day four out here in Blonde Channel. It was a pretty busy day, all things considered. Like, I did a lot of back and forth. It started with the internet not working, and then like real customers and real other people showing up who were guests but not customers because I didn't buy anything, and then just running for the radio, checking on the pets. <sighs> but all was well, it was a good day, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow where I don't have to answer all of the phone calls, probably like 20% of the phone calls because Strudel's mom is on top of that game. But yeah, with that, I'm going to say good night to day four and I will see you tomorrow for day five in Blind Channel. Good morning, super cool party people and welcome to day five in Blind Channel. It is a dreary, misty day today and I'm not sure if it's gonna burn off like it did yesterday. I guess we will find out in time. It is really cold though, so I am super bundled up already. I don't want to leave the house. Um, so I'm gonna just try to get some editing done here, I think, video editing, because I'm a little bit behind, even though I was like, I should keep up on this. I didn't. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that now. Um, everybody's leaving property here in the next half hour or so, I think. So that's a thing that I will need to I'll need to man the phone. That's the English that was happening there. But yeah, I'll try to get some of this stuff done before I get abandoned. It is still so cold. Oh, I got a strudel. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Do you want to come in? Yeah, it's cold outside. Come in. It's so cold outside. But yeah, I'm the last one on property now other than the dogs and the cats. Um, it, what are you doing? Do you, do you like the smell of my toque? You weirdo. Um, so, yeah, just me and the animals now. It's a bit of a busy day again for charters, but hopefully nothing too crazy. Um, it is very cold outside. 
so cold outside um and i got my first vlog edited for my time out here i was gonna do a week but like i only did like three or four days and that was 20 minutes so i guess which is gonna be a couple days together oh yes strudel you love that don't you anyways i'm going to continue hanging out with strudel and trying to stay warm and i think that's also something strudel's interested in doing is staying warm because it is so cold outside i just checked the weather it says it's zero degrees and it says the weather type right now is freezing fog. You no, know, it's just mean. I managed to convince Strudel to um, stay in the cabin with me because it is so cold outside. Like, I was like, Strudel, just stay in here. And she's like staring, so I let her out and then she very quickly came back in. So hopefully she'll be a little bit cozier and warm in here with me. But yeah, it is so cold today. So cold. I know this, this entire day is just gonna be so cold. But it's true. So yeah, freezing fog is apparently a thing. working on computer stuff now. I'm alone again on property. Oh, I said that already. And um, yeah, very exciting stuff. I'm so cold. I went outside to let one of the guys that works here into the store so he could buy some stuff and I'm regretting it so much. Oh, it's so cold today. I don't know why. It got warmer for a while and now it's almost four so it's just getting colder so cold i hope i don't have to go outside again today but yeah it's been a good day it's been a lot more chill than yesterday lots of good exciting news came down the pipeline too which is nice not for me for the business but i got to be a part of that so that's exciting um i'm just online right now trying to see if anybody thinks the nintendo switch is gonna go on sale for black friday because i really want one the more i look at it the more i want one and i've wanted it since it came out so Oh, I've almost pulled the trigger so many times, so maybe it'll happen now. We'll see. Anyways, that's the excitement and extent of what I'm doing. I'm watching Shooter on TV, even though I've seen it like a million times and I own it. Um, there's really not much to watch. Um, I also still have about this much data entry to do, um, but we are getting there. And um, I edit it a vlog today, and I'm editing another one ongoing, but yeah. I also, last night while I was in bed, I figured out some stuff that I wasn't sure about with my story. Like, there was this one thing that was really bothering me, and I think I figured out a way around it, which is fantastic. So I'll get into that maybe later, but at least I figured it out. That's what matters. I decided to have french fries with my dinner, and they were so good, I decided to have more french fries, and now I feel so sick because I ate way too many french fries. And good news though, I'm almost completely done the data entry. All I have left is this little stack here, which is stuff that I intentionally avoided doing in the summer because I don't want to do it, um, come back to haunt me now. So I guess I gotta do that tomorrow. And the other girl that's on property, Strudel's mom, she should be around for the majority of the day, which means that I'll probably pop over to the store and get a bunch of the store stuff done. And if I finish the data entry and the stuff at the store tomorrow, then I don't have to do anything other than answer the phone and stuff next week, which would be awesome. So I can get back into writing perhaps i can't remember if i mentioned it i think i did but i figured out an issue last night as i was like laying in bed there was like this one thing that i thought was just too obvious and i like couldn't figure out how to make it work and not be so obvious but i figured it out um and i don't know if it's just so obvious to me because i've written it and i know how everything interconnects but i feel a lot better about it now so that is a win it is still really cold today, It's or tonight, it's like four degrees or less now probably, and um, I really don't wanna go outside um, in the morning, and it's not even morning yet. We had to go outside because the grandfather on the property, he came back today, he had gone out to town for some doctor's appointments and stuff, and he came back and he brought a TV in with him that he bought, which was like a giant TV, so like it was all hands on deck to get it from the boat onto the gator up to his house. <laughs> it was 
all cold at the time. But we got it in, that was all good. And then when I came back inside, it was kind of nice because my place was really warm compared to outside, so I warmed up pretty quickly. But yeah, it's still pretty cold and I don't, I don't want to go outside ever again. <laughs> I think it's supposed to rain soon too, so I'm not looking forward to it. And we're actually supposed to be getting in a yacht tomorrow. There weren't supposed to be boats coming in, but hmm, c'est la vie. Anyways, it is 8 o'clock now, which means it's time for me to go climb into bed and watch some shows before I fall asleep because it's 8 o'clock, 8.30. It's just my bedtime now. I've accepted it. It's too dark. There's nothing to do. So with that, I'm going to say goodnight on day 5 in Blind Channel, and I will see you tomorrow for day 6. I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> Good night. cool party people and welcome to day six of blind channel it's cold I know I said this yesterday and like yesterday at one point me and strudel's mom were talking we're like it feels like snow but I am still in my pajama pants because they're fleece and I don't want to change into anything that's not fleece I'm gonna have to eventually but it's only I think 20 after 8 right now so I have some time it's definitely a very like looking day out there but it is Friday which is nice because I'm assuming there'll be less calls today and then we don't really have any runs on the weekend so it'll be good I'm feeling a bit under the weather today um, and I don't know if it's just because it's been so cold or if I'm coming down with something I don't know um, but I also had some really weird dreams about like magic and aliens and it was really weird and like I was in this place and it was getting attacked by aliens and then I managed to run away into the woods and then people that were dressed kind of like Harry Potter people and they, they like were but they weren't Harry Potter and they came and they're like oh we've got this new civilization up here you can come live with us so it's kind of weird but it's kind of interesting but anyways I've been up and puttering for about an hour now I will reluctantly get dressed in the next half an hour probably and my battery's about to die so I'm gonna go for now. I also recently realized that there's not actually a deck back here but just a nice backyard. That's the garden there um, and I guess a little bit over there that provides the restaurant a little bit in the summer. It's so blah today. I think it's raining. If not it's supposed to rain. So one of the downsides about the cabin I'm in is I don't have a long range VFS in here so one of my boats was calling in and I tried on my short range but it Either he couldn't, I couldn't hear his response or he couldn't hear me at all. Um, so I had to run next door, which involved like, quick, get the shoes on, quick, run to the house next door, quick, take the shoes off, and then like throw my radio so that I don't, you know, have the interference. Huh. We're good though. That was my cardio for the morning. Fun times. <laughs> Did she want to come in or is she just going to stare at me? Do you want to come in? Yeah, come on in, sweetie. Oh, boop. <laughs> Yet again, it's kind of been a busy day. So the hunters that we have are leaving today. So they brought their ATVs back. They're currently loading them off our dock onto their boat. Uh, also, just as they were getting back, we had a boat that needed some fuel. So like that took a while. And then before it felt super busy, like lots of phone calls, I've been out of my cabin a lot more than I'd want to be, but the mail is set up for the plane, assuming it shows up, it should show up. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna warm up a little bit here. It's 11 o'clock, I want to eat lunch, but I wanna wait until these guys get out of here in case I need to go check them out. Everything's ready to check them out um, at the store. I just don't know if I'm gonna do it or if Strudel's mom's gonna go do it. It'll depend if they wanna check out right now or if they wanna check out in a bit. And then later today, we're getting in an 80 foot yacht. So it's kind of a busy day for a Friday, but that's cool. I am working on a vlog. Later, I'll probably do that data entry. And then maybe if I'm super ambitious, I'll go to the store and I'll work in the store for a bit, but we'll see. I've still got like, another five days at minimum out here, I think six. I'm not too concerned about getting everything else done because I've got time still.
they just bundled up like a super lot and then we put my GoPro on Strudel because Strudel has a GoPro harness because Strudel's pretty legit and now the mail plane is coming in so I'm walking over to the store to get the mailbox to bring it down to the dock because that is a thing that needs to happen. It's pretty cold. I have like six layers of clothing on now. I've just, it's just a million layers. <laughs> All right, mail was gotten, received. It was really easy. There's only two things in the box, so very quick to um, put to sort. I'm actually bringing one up to the other guy that's staying up here because he's been waiting for this package for a while. He's on the water right now, but I'll just dump it in his house. So that's what I'm doing. I'll probably say hi to Strudel and her mom again and then probably go back to my place and just like, chill just chill okay so i finally made it back home i think fingers crossed it'll be chill for the rest of the evening but we are supposed to have that boat coming in in about 50 minutes here assuming that they show up on time i mean it's always an estimated time but maybe i won't have to go back outside but maybe i will but it is like sunny and beautiful right now it's a little cold though but it's it's gorgeous I just, I love it out here. Yeah. Well, it's about seven o'clock now. I don't think that yacht that was supposed to come in today ever showed up, or if it did, it just didn't radio and just tied itself up and was doing its own thing. We did get another plane randomly show up and drop a guy off, and he was like, oh yeah, my boat's not here yet, and so that was weird. <laughs> we're like, me and Strudel's mom were like, what is going on with the day? Why is it so busy? Um, but I mean, in good news, tomorrow is Saturday, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more chill. I have finished eating dinner, watched a couple shows, now I've got this blanket here, I'm at the table, and I'm gonna try to do some editing. I'm actually whipping out my headphones for the first time since I've been out here, um, in hopes that I can be productive. I don't know, let's find out. Well, it is eight o'clock, I got through two chapters, well, like a chapter and a half of my story, and I mentioned yesterday that I figured out a thing that was an issue that was bothering me and so it basically means I have to rewrite at least one chapter if not two so that's awesome and then the second chapter I read was super short so I added a lot of words into it but I still need to add probably twice as much as what I put into it so uh, it's a dicey area but I mean it is pretty much the middle of the book so yeah we're yeah it's coming up to the big things, but I'm feeling better about it, which is a good thing. I feel like it's flowing better, so I, I, I'm glad for the progress I've made today. But it is 8 o'clock at night, and we know what that means. Yeah, it means that I'm going to start to get ready for bed. I was thinking about watching one of the Christmas shows, because I was like, oh, one probably starts at 8, but it started at 7, and so I've missed like half of it already so whatever I will climb into bed go watch some of the shows that I have on my computer and then we'll go to sleep and tomorrow's the weekend so how do we not don't know what we're gonna do hopefully it won't be busy because even Strudel's mom was like it's really busy it shouldn't be this busy but today was a crazy day so with that I'm going to say good night on day six of Line Channel and I will see you tomorrow for day seven